Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a homemade vanilla cake with a buttercream frosting. So we're gonna start by getting the cake part mixed up together. And then later on, we'll do the frosting. So in this bowl here, I have two and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon of bacon powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and a half package of this vanilla pudding not the whole package guys just a half of it and that's going to help with the moisture of the cake and as well as the flavor so i have that all sifted together because i'm not using cake flour so i'm going to go in with my softened butter which is two sticks just want to dump that in there i'm going to cream that together with the sugar, but first I'm gonna let the butter cream together for about five to six minutes until it's like a fluffy white. Second one. Okay. Now I'm gonna let that cream together. Guys, and every now and then you want to go in and stop it so you can scrape down the sides so that it can all be mixed properly. So I'm going to turn this on high. And because it's kind of too loud for you guys, once this is finished mixing all together, I will be right back. Okay guys, so the butter is exactly where I need it to be. Now I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna gradually add in one and one half cups of sugar. I'm going to turn that up and let this go for about eight minutes until it becomes fluffy and you don't see any more grains of salt. You don't want it to be grainy. So eight minutes guys and I'll be right back. Okay so it's past the eight minute mark and my butter and sugar mixture is exactly where I want it to be. This is what you want to have yours look like. It's going to be a fluffy white creamy mixture and this is going to give you the best type of cake as far as the fluffiness and the moisture you'll definitely get it from fluffing up your butter and sugar this way okay so I'm going to change my paddle attachment because I just wanted to use this one to to fluff up my sugar and butter mix I want to get as much of this off as I can. I worked hard for this. <laughs> okay. Sorry for the noise, guys. Oh, I couldn't see. There we go. Locked in. Okay, so now we are going to be adding the eggs one by one to this mixture.
and you just want to add them one by one until you see that they are incorporated. Ah, second one got away, and the third one. Okay, and number four. And guys, make sure that your eggs and your buttercream and your butter is room temperature. I want to give this a little mix. Then I'm going to add the four, four teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, so I'm going in with my vanilla extract. There's one teaspoon. There's two. There's three, and there's four. And I'm just gonna let that mix up until it's well incorporated. But I'm gonna increase the speed just a little bit. It looks amazing already. Wow. Look at that, guys. Okay, now all there is left to do is add our flour mixture and our buttermilk. Now I'm going to alternate those two ingredients, but I'm going to turn down my speed so we don't have a cloud party in here with the flour. smells so good oh my god so I'm gonna do some flour and some buttermilk and guys the same thing here every now and then you want to scrape down your sides Some more. Some more buttermilk. More flour. More buttermilk. That's the rest of the buttermilk. I'm going to add the last of the flour, then I'm going to scrape down the sides. Now I can increase this. Okay, now I'm going to scrape. You can use a bigger spatula if you want. I just didn't take mine out. Okay. that mix for another three to four minutes five max and then we'll be ready to put these we'll be ready to put the batter into two nine inch cake pans and then we'll pop it in the oven at 350 degrees
Okay, guys, this batter is done. That is beautiful. Okay, now let's get this into two cake pans. Okay, so I have two nine inch bacon pans here. So to this, I'm going to spray some bacon spray. That's gonna allow the cake to release easily and not stick. You can use the old fashioned way with some uh, butter and flour, or you can use another spray called uh, Baker's Joy. But I'm gonna use this Pam one. So now I'm going to evenly add the cake batter that we just made. Look at that. Nice and thick. So I'm going to eyeball this, guys. Make sure that this is evenly added to each pan. Okay, so I left some behind so I can shake this out and see who needs more. Sorry for the noise, guys. Okay. So they're almost about even. Okay, so I'm going to take a smaller spatula and smooth them out. Alrighty, there we go. That looks good to me. and you want to give this a light tap to get any air bubbles out. Okay, now they're ready for the oven. So you want to place this in the oven at 350 degrees. But if you know that your oven is very hot and it bakes faster, you might want to turn it down to about 325. So I'm going to put this in the oven from 28 to 30 minutes. And I'll be right back when it's time to check on them. Okay, so it's time to check our cakes. It's been about 30 minutes, so I'm going to insert a toothpick in and it should come out clean as it did. I'm gonna do the next one. Same thing. Okay, let's take these out and let them cool and let's begin the frosting. Okay, so it's time to make that buttercream frosting. So here I have four and a half cups of powdered sugar, four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, I have my vanilla, and I have three sticks of unsalted butter. So we're going to start by getting the butter into the mixer. And just make sure that this is soft to touch. It doesn't have to be really, really soft because if you do, your mix will be very loose. Not that that can't be fixed by just placing it in the refrigerator to let it stiff up, but you want it to get be right the first time. Okay. I'm going to get the rest of that butter off of here. Okay, so we're going to cream this for about five minutes until it becomes light and fluffy. Then we'll add our powdered sugar. So let's get to mixing. The 
Okay, guys, so I'm going to let this cream for the next five minutes, and I'll be back when it's completely done. And time to add the powdered sugar. Okay, so it's been five minutes since we had this butter mixing for our buttercream frosting. So this is what you want it to look like. I'm going to scrape it down a little bit, then I'll show you. It should be light and fluffy, and it should have changed in color. See that? That's what you want. Okay, so now I'm going to start the mixer again and gradually add the powdered sugar. Ah, I hate when this stuff gets on here and stays. You want to do this on low because you don't want powdered sugar everywhere. Then you can speed it up just a little. And it's time to add some more. Going to scrape down the sides a little bit. Make sure we get all that powdered sugar in there. This smells so good. It smells like a bakery in here. Okay, I'm going to start it again. Turn it up a bit, just to get that sugar off of the sides. Okay, I'm going to turn it down. Add the third cup. Turn it up. And now, I'm going to add the final amount of the powdered sugar. I'm going to turn this up a bit, then I'm going to scrape the sides down. Okay, this is exactly the way it should look at this point. And guys, I forgot to, to let you know that there's one fourth teaspoon of salt that's supposed to be added to this. So as soon as this is finished whipping, I'm gonna add the salt. I'm gonna turn this up. Mix it for about two minutes. Now I'm going to add the salt. I'm going to scrape down the sides. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go in with my four teaspoons of vanilla extract. One, two, three. Let me scrape down the sides from where that vanilla is. Now I'm going to add our heavy whipping cream. Mm, baby. This smells so good. The third one. Okay, let me scrape this down. And they are still doing fireworks in my neighborhood. So if you hear stuff in the background, guys, that's outside. I'll try my best to minimize the background noise. So let's give this a, uh, let me go another two seconds. Okay, so this should be done. Let's give it a look. Okay, guys, let's check out the fluffiness of our frosting. Wow. This is the consistency that you want, where it's not falling off the spoon. You see that? I can twist it, and it goes nowhere. This is going to make the perfect frosting for your cake. Okay, guys, so our cake should be cooled off. Let's get to putting this frosting on it. And guys, just to let you know, I'm not a professional cook. I'm gonna do my best to frost this cake <laughs> and make it look as pretty as I can. So let me get that cake and let's get to frosting it. Now for our big moment, it's time to ice this cake. Just wanna show you the frosting again. That came out perfect. Okay, so we're gonna get this cake out of the cake pans. It should come right out. Uh, and it did. Nice, check that out. So I'm gonna lay it face down. Okay, let's do it. You want to put a decent amount in the middle. Add a little more. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also 
hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post another video so you don't miss out and be the last to see. <laughs> now, but seriously, subscribe to my channel and like this video and also comment and let me know if you like vanilla cake and what's your favorite kind of cake and also where you're watching from. Okay, that should be good. I'm just gonna smooth that out. <laughs> All right. Nah, something's telling me a tad bit more on this side. Sorry, guys. I know I said I was done. But I'm actually not. Now I am. Okay. Now for the second layer. Ah, came right out. Yes, another good one. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this right on top okay I'm gonna try my best to make this look pretty just for you guys let me zoom in a bit so you can see it better okay Do I have any people watching from New York? If I do, comment in the section below and let me know. Hello guys, guess I'm not doing such a bad job. One thing, this cake is definitely flavorful. It smells good, and the batter was definitely good. <laughs> and of course, I tasted the frosting already. The buttercream frosting, that is. It smells just like a bakery. Sorry, y'all. Almost done, almost done. This frosting is like light and fluffy. You can see that by the way that I'm spreading it on. Alright guys, just a tad bit more. Looks like I didn't do a bad job after all. Okay. 
Okay, let's bring that down. That's it. And there you have it, guys. Your homemade vanilla cake with a homemade buttercream frosting. Here's a different angle of the cake. Two layer vanilla cake. Homemade buttercream frosting. There you go. Now let's cut it. Okay, let's see how good we did. Whoa, that's super soft inside. Wow. Whoa, baby. Okay, okay. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that, guys. Whoa. Look at that. Moist. Wow. Wow, wow. Let's do the moisture check. Look at that. Mm. That's good. <clears throat> All right, guys. So there you have it. Homemade vanilla cake with a buttercream frosting. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe. And hit that notification bell. So you can be notified when I post another video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.